Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Discussion of units of force, newtons, and acceleration, meters per second squared. Answer. When we discuss concepts related to motion in physics, two fundamental units come into play. Force, measured in newtons, and an acceleration, measured in meters per second squared, m slash s superscript 2. Understanding these units is crucial because they help illustrate how objects move and interact in our universe. Understanding force newtons. Definition. Force is a push or pull acting on an object. It's responsible for changes in motion, which means it can make an object start moving, stop, speed up, slow down, or change direction. Unit. The standard unit of force in the International System of Units, SI, is the newton in. One newton is defined as the force needed to accelerate a one kilogram mass by one meter per second squared. One in equals one kg mam slash s superscript two. Example, imagine you have a soccer ball sitting on the ground. To kick it and make it roll, you need to apply a force. Let's say you apply a force of 10 newtons. This force will influence the ball's acceleration and how it moves. Understanding acceleration, meters per second squared, definition. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity of an object. It measures how quickly an object speeds up, slows down, or changes direction. Unit. Acceleration is measured in meters per second squared, m slash s superscript 2. This indicates how much the velocity of an object changes for each second that passes. Example. If a car is initially at rest and begins to move, it might accelerate at a rate of 2 meters per square second. This means that after one second, the car's speed will increase by two meters per second. After two seconds, its speed will increase by another two meters per second, totaling four meters per second. The relationship between force and acceleration, the connection between force and acceleration, is outlined in Newton's second law of motion, which states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and inversely proportional to its mass. This relationship can be summarized with the equation acceleration equals force F slash mass M. This means that increasing the force applied to an object will lead to an increase in acceleration, assuming the mass remains constant. For a given force, a heavier object, greater mass, will accelerate less than a lighter one. Example application. Consider two cars racing. Car A has a mass of 500 kilograms and car B has a mass of 1,000 kilograms. If the same force of 2,000 N is applied to both cars, we can calculate their acceleration. For car A, A equals F slash M equals 2,000 N slash 500 kilograms equals 4 meters per square second. For car B, A equals F slash M equals 2,000 N slash 1,000 kilograms equals 2 meters per square second car, a accelerates faster than car B because it has a smaller mass while experiencing the same force. Practical applications of force and acceleration Understanding force and acceleration has numerous practical applications in everyday life, engineering, and beyond. Vehicle safety. Engineers use these concepts to design safer vehicles. They analyze forces during acceleration and deceleration to create effective braking systems that can stop a car quickly and safely. Sports and exercise. Athletes need to understand how much force is required to achieve specific accelerations in their sports. For example, sprinters aim to maximize their acceleration off the starting blocks. Space travel. In rocketry, engineers calculate the forces needed to launch vehicles into space. They must consider the mass of the rocket and the necessary acceleration to escape Earth's. Gravitational pull. Everyday actions. When you push a shopping cart, the amount of force you exert determines how quickly it moves. Heavier loads require more force to achieve the same acceleration. Conclusion and summary, the concepts of force and acceleration, measured in newtons and meters per second squared respectively, are integral to understanding how objects move. Their interrelationship, as illustrated by Newton's second law, helps us grasp the dynamics of motion in everything from daily activities to complex engineering designs. By understanding these concepts, we get insights into the physical world and can apply this knowledge in practical and innovative ways.